Hello, this is John Eyes with the National Weather Service Central Region Headquarters Scientific Services Division and I'd like to show you a bit about how to use reminders and notifications with calendars you may have. I would like to use the Central Region Training Calendar as my example and you want to make sure that it, whatever calendar you want to work with is up here so make sure it's clicked on for example I can turn my calendar on and off or I can turn the training calendar on and off now if you don't see it under my calendars uh, a lot of times you'll have to come down here below under other calendars to switch uh, a calendar on or off okay so let's go ahead and take a look at um, how we would uh, change reminders now if you res if you have one of these calendars already in uh, on display, uh, you can do two things here to get reminders and notifications. One is you can set uh, the settings for reminders and notifications for uh, all events on a calendar, or you can set them individually. Now, if you do them individually, uh, you can click on in a particular event and go down a little farther and click on add a reminder now for example here I have a pop-up 15 minutes before and that will tell me uh, that uh, provided I'm logged in and I'm at my computer I'll get that I can also do a reminder to give me an email uh, 10 minutes 10 hours 10 days or 10 weeks if I wish or more uh, ahead of time so that's one way you can do it for an individual now, uh, event, but you have to remember always to save it because <laughs> if you just go out of it, you'll, you'll lose it. Now, if you want to set uh, a reminder notification when something is put on that calendar by someone, either here at Central Region Headquarters or anybody else who has access to this calendar for writing, uh, you go up in the upper right-hand corner where the little gear is and click on Settings and you come over to calendars and you'll notice here under calendar and you, yours might be under other calendars but since I own the uh, central region training calendar I'll use that just as an example here and if you go over to the right side you see where it says reminders and notifications you click on that and you'll get a screen uh, that will allow you to set the default uh, notifications reminders now at the moment, uh, for example, I have, there's two sections to deal with. First is event reminders. Um, I have it set that's default that I'll get a pop-up on my screen 15 minutes before every event that's on the training calendar. Now, which is, which is fine and that's why you saw 15 minutes when I brought it up in a, as an individual event earlier. Now, if we go down here, these are actually notifications. Uh, you have different types, new events. In other words, if, uh, for example, I was to put a webinar on the calendar, uh, if you have it clicked here for email uh, me on, you will get an email that's been added. If an event has changed, if you have it selected, you'll get an email. If it's canceled for some reason, you'll also get an email. Also, if uh, if there's other guests that respond and, and uh, uh, to the guest list you'll get that too. Now most people really probably won't want that and uh, I only have it on in case I need to check uh, who's coming uh, to the webinar or not. Also at 5 in the morning you can get a daily email if you wish uh, with all your all the events for that day uh, for the tr for training in Central Region. So these are just switchable. You just switch them on or off. This is the off position and then the check means you're on and on position. So, um, so just go ahead then and remember to hit save and then just go back to calendar. So that's the basic way to handle reminders and notifications and uh, thank you for listening.